Hi, Jim Turborg here with Chris Daughters at the Caddisfly. This is the third in my series of Clear Cure Goo, hard to say, CCG uh, coronament patterns. I'm going to tie a fancier pattern here, uh, burgundy with a red butt, and it's going to have uh, two colored ribs, so it's somewhat of a half chromy. Uh, I've attached my white thread, and I will use marking pens to change the color. I'm going to first tie in a piece of red small wire, and then I'm going to tie in one strand of gunmetal flashaboo. So this is going to make it partly of a chromy. Oops. And want to uh, keep it on the top of the shank. Barrett has done this before. It's a good idea. I wind it down quite a bit here. Now I'm going to bring it back up and make sure I'm covering everything with the white thread. Yeah, I need a little, do a little bit more back here. There we go. Now I'm going to take a red marking pen, permanent ink, and I'm going to make the butt red. Kind of like the Brian Chan frostbite pattern. And you can do these with any color you want. And now I've got burgundy. And it's not that much different, but burgundy, maroon, is a great color for coronamids. And there are some people that that's pretty much all they fish. So now we've got the colors in there. And I'm going to take the piece of flashaboo first. And you don't want to pull it too tight because it will stretch. And I'm going to try to wrap that forward. maybe seven wraps. This is the part that's going to make it a little bit like a like a chromy. And now's the hard part is I'm going to try to take this red wire and wrap it over the crystal flash. So it really gives a sense of the segments, and if you've looked at photographs of real coronamids, you can see this kind of coloration. I don't think it matters if you get to the side, but we're trying to create the illusion of these ribs. So we'll wrap that off. This is where the thorax, I'm building this up. I'm going to remove the wire. There we go. I'm going to build this up a little bit more. I'm going to tie this off and switch over. This is a Laggerton 150 thread, which is great for building the body. But I'm going to go to a 80 uh, thread in black to keep things nice and neat and tight up here. So I'm going to retie. And cover this up so I've got a black thorax. There we go. Then for the uh, wing pads, I use uh, Lagerton uh, fluorescent red braid and I break it up into tiny strands. Well, this comes on a spool and typically is wrapped, but you've broken it up, pulled it apart like a, like a yarn almost. Correct, yes. So I'll wrap one piece on one side. You can see how small the strands are here. But this really pops out with the orange color of a wing pad. And if you use the entire braid, it's too much. Yeah, it doesn't want to cooperate here. Advance the thread. Take this over, get my fingers out of the way, and tie that down. Then on the other side, I'm doing the same thing. I don't worry if they're uh, perfectly across from each other. Then we're going to cut this. Put 
couple more wraps. Now for something different for the um, the uh, gills, I've got the Lagerton uh, braid in pearl. And I'm just going to figure eight this on. And this is one of the reasons for going to the smaller, uh, smaller thread. Couple of half hitches. And then we just cut this. We want them short. They'll fluff out real nice. And now we apply the clear cure goo. I like to turn it down and we'll start with the thin. I use my bodkin instead of the needle. I think I get a little bit more control. Again, great product. You can always take some off. You can always add it. You can wipe it off if you want. Get a little more here. Look at this side. And these things come with an applicator, but with these smaller flies and thin bodies, you're, you're finding the bodkin a little better. But either, right. either way. Right. It comes with the needles. Yeah. And I don't worry if I get some on the gills, because the gills don't have to be moving. So it'll kind of uh, flow there a little bit. Let's let that go. Get out the, the light. And this light is great to just look at your fly tying table and see how wonderful uh, certain products might be for UV. And maybe you can see a little bit of the UV here. Right, so now we finish it off with the hydro, and I use this with the brushable head, and this is much thinner. You have to make sure you get all the drops off because you'll be surprised at some point. So we're just going to add some of this, start from the top down, turn it over, let's make sure we got the thorax right. The hydro is a tack free product that could really be your head cement for everything. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's cure this. You want to be careful with these UV lights is what I've been told is you don't shine it at people or shine it on your skin, but otherwise it's uh, safe. So here's the burgundy and red coronamid with uh, uh, partly uh, uh, chromium. Thank you.